Go on. Morning, Biggles. <laughs> Morning, dear Red. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that later. <laughs> What's, your, what's the comedian called? <laughs> Toby Brown, I'll be like, Toby Brown. Toby yeah, Brown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, it. Oh, that's, a, that's it, the perfect oh, image. Hilarious. Yeah. Right. Well done, David. Let's Thanks talk good. about football. First. Yes, why not? Um, we've had two games in the last few days, Yeovil and Altrincham. Disappointing for different reasons, probably. Oh, I thought I thought down at Yeovil for the first 30 minutes we were excellent. I thought we'd done really, really well. Um, just the final third, it created a chance and get the chance in. And then... Um, a bit disappointed about I didn't think we deserved that to be honest and I thought their manager was the same and um, thought we didn't deserve that then here the game's won you know I think their keepers made a couple of worldly saves I've got that but the game's won so I was just devastated to be honest and I was angry at the end of the game and hurt because you're looking at uh, goalkeeper spinning 30 yards to put a ball down and whack it in our 18 yard box we got to deal with that we got to deal with that that's why the club got relegated the first time because they couldn't deal with things like that and we we got people who should be able to deal with that the back force as wide as we want to be the midfield haven't spinted in um the young kids give a foul away but hasn't really got behind the ball and it, it ended up being a spiritual thing so i was really upset about it yes so very, very disappointing but We've got another tough game tomorrow. We'll be making changes because the bottom is I'm, I'm trying to make. Like, I've got to swallow anything till next Saturday. To be honest, I'm trying to make changes every game. We'll make a few more tomorrow and uh, on Tuesday as well before we get everybody fit for the beginning. And um, some lads need minutes, so I know we're 100% ready uh, and all the rest of it. But it was disappointing when it because we, we got off to a good, good start. We, you know, I scored and you know I had these little chances. And all of a sudden, in the second half, we got deeper and deeper and deeper. And I tried to put two attacking players on to try to get up the pitch. Just like I did at Kings Lynn, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Sometimes it was our best of putting Blocky on the bench, thinking about it now, or Nathan in to sit and see the game through. But I've done that before this when again, sometimes managers have got to take a blame as well. You know, if I went to, I got Max, so I got a centre forward on, and I went to go that weird bit. And if that didn't work, I'll let it hurt my hands up. Yeah, I'm focusing a bit more on Altrincham because I think the common consensus was that the performance at Yeovil was pretty good. We just they mm. had a better set forward than we. 100. Yeah, um, yeah. Although we did have 16 corners and couldn't yeah. score a goal. Yeah, we've got to work on that this morning. We're here this morning because I, I do believe what we've got in this route to do. And like, listen, we want to play an exciting style of football where we're good at set players, but we're good at passing the ball. And um, you know, because yeah, you know, if we just go a set player team all the time, then we'll get we'll get found out and all that, you know. So. Uh, Working with players every day next season, we'll be able to do that. I'm very confident about that and how we were in the comp and south and all the rest of it. Because when you're on song, oh yeah, good attack and play two wingers, getting balls in the box. When you're not on song, oh yeah, you're lumping it. And, and that's the football manager for you. But the bottom line is, um, you know, if we have them corners, we'll constantly rely on Musa. It's like everybody goes, Musa, Musa, Musa. The rest of the got to head the ball. Cookie's got to head the ball. Max Cosman's got to head the ball. Ken Fernhound's got to head the ball. And put the bodies because Martin made a good point. You idea, but you know you've got to find the ball. The ball ain't gonna find you. Many times you've got to go and look and find the ball. And that was a disappointing you idea where corners, corners, you over here. Good balls in the box. Matty Jarvis put a great couple of balls in the first half. Go and attack the bloody ball. We have one lump in there, one win, and one penalty, and you're thinking. It's ridiculous, like, so it can frustrate you very much, so and that's very frustrating, man, you Yeah, and it, was, it wasn't too dissimilar on Tuesday. Lots of free kicks. And Musa ah. was actually getting his head on a no. lot of them. And not doing but, but they weren't no. dropping right. No, they weren't. No, tell you, we'll consciously rely on Musa. You know, we've got, no. like, to, to win a league here or to get the top seven here, you need a back four who's solid and a goalkeeper who's solid. Um, you, you, you've got to get midfielders in the box and all, and you've got to, you, you know, and you, you've got to be good in both boxes, simple as that. But you've got stuff to take together, so, so we just got to get better, a bit, little bit better on both. We're quite solid defensively, although I haven't conceded many goals. Attacking wise, we've got to create chances, and I, I'm looking at oh, well, you know, but I'm looking like, say, Job has put two great balls in, and I'm thinking, where's my centre forward, and where's my midfielder joining in? Why are we not dying to get in the box? Where's the other winger coming in the back? Again, things we can work on next season when we're full time, you know. So we can um, go daily. We're going to have a little go on the pitch today, um, which is great for Hartlepool. We will be making quite a lot of changes tomorrow, to be honest, because um, I've got obviously the bigger next week, and um, and we'll just work on it. Simple as that. Yeah, we we spoke about it on Tuesday night after the match, and you've mentioned it again today about dropping further and further yep. back. I presume that wasn't because you told them to. Defend I've never done that deep. yet. I see. I've never told them to sit deep. I've never told them to play for. As you know, you probably know me on the team coach and things like that. I want to play an exciting style of play. I want McGann to score two and three. I come on stuck against um, when Ian and Martin told us not to do it against Kings Lynn when we're two one up there, and I went more attacking. And we've got to be free too. And the other night's the same. I put Max on, go and get up people and all that, you know, and stuff like that. And then, you, you know, and you put the kid on up top, another centre forward on, because obviously both lads were getting tired. 
and I've always went that way and sometimes it doesn't come off you know if it's nil nil tomorrow in the last 10 minutes I'll still try to win the game but when you when you've got a team who hasn't you know it did sit deeper and deeper and we're saying get out and push out I think it's got to come from the back four and the goalkeeper me I think you've got to get them out and push them midfield up things we'll talk about this morning it can't be relied on oh we're not holding the ball up or whatever we've got to find a way of getting out if it means going a bit longer and squeezing in there and winning the ball half a pitch that's the energy we need which I'll be looking to, to bring in next season. The type of energy, win the ball high up and then um, keeping it up there and going from there. But we did, and, and I'll, I'll, listen, it's my team and I set them up. But one thing I do not see is sit deep, and one thing I do not see is go along, and one thing I do not see is doing try to win football matches. But maybe, um, it, again, the players have got to take responsibility for that, and I, I do as well as a manager. But we've got a, you know, again, we've got a young side, we've got a confident south side, we've got a young side, all the things which, you know, we need to improve on, and me as well as a manager. Yeah, it's. it's Perhaps surprising that the, the back four are dropping deeper and deeper when you haven't told them to, mm. and your captain is in there in the back four. I know that's something. Maybe you'll be saying we can't get out, but we've got to find a way of getting out, you know. And then um, your back four being solid, but sometimes what gets up in the back four in my life, and I was a captain and things like that, and I also run it like I also run my back four, that's what gave me a career in the game, you know, get tight, well up, blah blah. And somewhere along the line, you've got a gun to Kane Fernhand, for example, say, will you get off my tours and gun squeeze a bit for Can we get the ball? Can we keep it? Uh, make sure it holds in the centre forward. Or can we just put it in the channel, for example, and chase in there, then try to win it high up? We've got to find a way. That probably comes from not training regularly together, I imagine. But it does get frustrating, and, and I get frustrated more than anybody, and you could probably tell if that Tuesday night was a very angry man. And uh, and it, it hurts, it hurts you, you know, because you're, you're there and you're, you're all weak. You think, go on, to win a game at our level, being a part-time outfit and all, but to win a game at our level, it takes a lot to win a game at our level. A lot to win a game. So, um, to give it away like that, it's very frustrating, but tomorrow chooses another day, and yeah, we'll let it move forward. Sure. Um, let's talk about players. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, maybe mention Jaden Wareham, who has been basically been coming on every game. Um, made a very impactful start with two goals, and but hasn't managed to get on the score sheet since, although he has been unlucky. I feel sorry for Jaden. Um, I can't do much more for him now, to be honest. I can't do. I, I, I haven't washed my hands with Jaden as a boy. I think he's a lovely boy. I think he's got a lovely personality about him. I think he's a lovely kid. He's just getting the wrong advice. That's all he's getting. Um, I can only give him. My, my thing for him would have been stay here, try to get some game time down. But I told like, listen, I've been honest. I possibly can't. I told everybody to stay off Twitter. They haven't done it. I told everybody not to form a piece of meat. And um, you know, he ain't a horse. They haven't done it. He's a lovely boy. He needs to go and have a McDonald's. He needs to get a girlfriend. You need to live a life. If a 17 year old kid should leave, you get a call off in the air, they go, whatever, what a colour sells, and oh yeah, yeah, mate, oh yeah, straight up, look, Dose, and I'll work with you all of a sudden, being Jack Chapel. Yeah, and all of a sudden they're getting pushed by, I'm not going to mention them, different people are pushing them. Go there, go to Chelsea. I want to go to Chelsea this morning. What's your point of coming to Hollywood? Then go to Chelsea if that's what you want to do. I right, go to Chelsea. What do you want to do? Because I care about you as a kid. What do you want to do? Ignore everybody else in your life. What do you want to do? Well, I want to go to Chelsea uh, for a trial. Brilliant, let's go to Chelsea. What's the point of taking my Hartlepool? But I think he's coming today, but he'll go to Chelsea on Monday. Brilliant. Then all of a sudden, the agents want to do things in paper. Like he's going to Milan next week or something like that, or West Ham or Chelsea and all that. Being Jaden Webb wasn't. It's, uh, I, I said from day one, just be Jaden Webb. Have that lovely charisma about you. Have that thing. At the minute, he, I thought he was. Um, he come on against Sutton. I thought the header he was excellent. I thought against Sutton away, he was absolutely outstanding. I thought he was awful against Wrexham. I thought he come on against King Lynn, He was brilliant. I thought he come on the other night. He looked at her. He had the whole world on his shoulders and all that, you know. But that should be his progression. How we're going. That's how I've tried to do and try to hold him. So he's not this boy wonder. People doing Twitter about them and all Twitter and all that, you know, about them and all that, you know. They don't put many in that pressure. He doesn't want to walk in a building big time. He's not that sort of lad. I feel sorry for Jaden Worm. I think he's a lovely, lovely kid, but I feel sure about that face he's getting is very wrong. And I feel sure about, you know, he's going to be thrown around like a piece of meat and he's like, oh, Jaden, oh, Jaden's starting. Oh, he's doing, oh, he's not. Let the lad live. Let him live. Let him live with his teammates. Let him grow and go to Hartlepool and see how it's like doing the weird games. Let's not put all this pressure on the kid. Let's put pressure on me for not playing him because I've got to try to protect the lad. Do you, you know he had a bad injury? He had, he had an injury over there. <clears throat> and he's come, his knees dropped. And I know Jaden Wem, I'm thinking, you're injured here. But it, it still, he feels as though he's got this God be a pressure to play because it, you know, And I'm not doubting he limped on on Saturday. And, if that was because his performance wasn't very good yet, but he's, he's allowed a 17 not to play well. He's allowed to actually come with a smile, as cheeky smile he used to have. I look at him overnight, I thought, and the staff did, the staff said, what's wrong with Jim? What's blinking wrong with him? And I, uh, Jim, where I'm looking, when he come on, he was all, but he's 17 years old, let the kid breathe, let him do his own little thing, let him be a young man, let him, you know, it, it's ridiculous, all it is is, 
Jaden, 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 Jaden. Let's all talk about Jaden. Let's tweet about Jaden. Let's see he's got the Man United. Let's see he's got the Man City. Oh, he scored two goals. And let's see. Let the lad. He's come from the academy. He's got, let the lad learn his game. I, I, I'm not seeing that. Nobody's got that many better records than me in getting young kids in the football league. And if it came to Chelsea, then we'll get him at Chelsea. But leave Jaden where we learn. Just let him come with his teammates and be. You know, he's a popular lad because he's a lovely, lovely kid. He ain't a big time lad. He's got a good charisma about him. You know, something where your daughter, you wouldn't mind bringing him back home and say your daughter but everybody's spoiling them they're all spoiling them they're all building this kid up and it's just got like, that's why it's like him i know somebody very close to me and the kid went to chelsea when the kid comes to chelsea mom dad start when chelsea here then they go and tell the whole world he's at chelsea then all then all everybody we sense the family then everybody we sense the kids i don't want to happen to jane i don't want to um, me to go against the family or jane because they were oh, look at them not look at them and all that you know and and, and when the kid gets let go and the kid's devastated, and the family's got to take the Chelsea tracksuits off. Then it become the kid from the street, and that, that kid now is not playing football anymore. And it's scandalous because you should see what I'm trying to do with Jane is saying, You've got a good club here. If money makes of course I'll let you go. And of course, I'll, if he wants to go to Chelsea next week, or I think you should go to DM me personally, but he'll probably come here. Go and just and live your life and enjoy, but stop every single game. Making into uh, Jane's done this. How about working doing well? How about working winning 2 1 instead of uh, how about with the 2 all against Bromley? It can't be with Jane where I'm sure, and I'm trying to protect them. But I've, I, I can only do so much, and I've, I've tried all I can to advise them the best I possibly can. But when you still get all the tweets, and when you still get agents bringing this up, and when you still get people saying what's best for a boy, do you really think it's best for a boy? Actually, touting them out like this is a piece of meat. Oh, can they? Man United, Man City, Chelsea, come on. If Chelsea want him, come and see me. Listen, how's the player? I say he's a very good young man. Take him. That's how it should be in a calm man. I said, oh, I tell you, if you don't go to Chelsea and not eight games, you don't score two goals. They'll never take you. So is he meant to come back to us with his No, he's not. He, he's who here. Yeah. Let him let, just let him live, and that's what I'm trying to do for a lot. But it's all been built up, and the lads know that as well. And everybody's been built up. And they do, we get all these tweets going around about them, all these rumours going around about because the agents and everybody else did. Why tweet about uh, Jaden Webb and just leave him play? I can't make him more playing. So uh, if he's on the coach, I'll welcome him on the coach. Will I get him in the squad in the weekend? I do it now. Will I offer him a deal at the end of the season? Probably. It, 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 it's one of them ways he's got to live his life. That's all he's got to do. He ain't better on what I've got. He's ain't worse than what I've got. He's just a normal player playing for working. This happens to be the youngest. But I watched on Tuesday night. And we've got some other good young kids, I'll tell you. Good young kids. We have played against Crawley and he had come on and he were blinking past it. So Scott's got some good youngsters there. That's what I was sort of seeing where if it went all wrong in the next couple of weeks, I'll put them in and say, go on, you play for your local club and you play. And that's what I'll do. Yeah, I was. I watched some of that on the stream. Yeah. Was it Salim playing? Salim was... Uh, I thought he looked... I, he, he done well, you know. Um, Skinner was excellent. Skinner's come with the first team today, you know. Like, you know, Smudge had done well in goal. He's with us no, today, you know. And all that, you know. Joe Leslie was there. Sam Evans done very well, and all that, you know. And, uh, but I uh, was a few good kids, and we put them on against a strong side near Popping. And I'm thinking that's what I want out there. Local lads play for their club, so if I can get a mix shot next season, the proper lads. So we've been there, seen it, done it. But also, so the last ten games of the season, I've always said. I've never had the opportunity yet to, because of all the I've tried to do something to give some young lads a game. I love youths coming through. I put 10 in once against the FC women. That's Martin Taylor. I just go, there you are, go and play. You know what I mean? If you get beat 6 0, it's my problem. The supporters have a crack at me. They not have a crack at them. Let's crack on for it. Yeah. Um, was that uh, a sort of preparation in case you have to furlough people that much? Oh, like, like, uh, uh, threats, to, uh, motivation. I know my players better than anybody. Um, I, I just feel as though it, it, it's. This is what I think. Is if somebody had said that when I worked in the job here, I had a blank sheet of paper, and probably people didn't know, and I knew I had been successful before. Now, if I bought a direct, I said you got a three year contract, and also I, I got three years. I haven't know, I only had a year or whatever, I didn't buy contracts or whatever. And, but, um, you know, but I have had really good talks with John about the next couple of years, and I'll be here, and I'll, I'll build a club up, and we'll compete by the time I'm finished. But if somebody had said to you, okay, you are desperately a working manager, I'm here at that point, okay, you'll get promotion, I want you to get, you'll get promotion, you'll, I'm not saying save the club, that's the wrong thing to say, but you'll financially help the club for the next couple of years with a cup run, you'll also have the, the development on your head, you'll also have a pandemic on your head, you'll stay in the league with the worst budget in the league, and all that, you know, and stuff like that, and that put, you know, all the rest of it, you'll even top it for a little bit last season. Then you'll lose all your players, but still you'll have another Wembley trip. So from nothing to promotion 
to the pandemic, to the ground, to the budget, to because uh, even I'm sick of me at the minute. So I understand frustrations about me. Even I didn't like me. You know what I mean? So I understand Dawson Flake and Sailor. But well, you can't take with forty. You can't all the things be sun tells of what goes on. I understand it because I said Ian Dyer before season. Listen, we'll get stick this year because even though we're seeing it be great achievements staying up, people won't buy into that. So I know I am. So, but I just look at the whole situation. See, for a kid who wanted a job for promotion, the cup run, saving it to get the Wembley and all the pandemic and ground things like that without making an excuse at all, with no fans, no nothing, just to keep the club going. I think everybody will snap their hands off. And I wanted to lead the team out so much at Wembley, I'm not going to deny that, so it ain't another game, it's Wembley. So I've tried to get everybody excited about it, because at the minute it's like, we can't get relegated, we can't do that. And I just sense a bit thinking, if you think we're just going to go through emotions here, whatever happens, then I'll fool you, whatever. If you could get everything against Hellefant, and I'm signing two new players on Monday, I've got two exciting players coming on Monday, to be fair. Um, you know, after this weekend, I'll, I'll be making quite a lot of change tomorrow. Uh, but I've got um, two new players coming Monday because I feel as though I need to kickstart anybody to say, I'm going to go to Wembley and I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to Hellefant. And you can watch us five or six times, we can't watch them at all. So I'm being taught to Mitch, Max, play the game, I make them five at the back for whatever I do, okay? And match them or whatever. But the bottom line is, you're looking, I'm thinking, I want to give everything in my life I possibly can to make the dream come true, to get 7,500 people at Wembley, to make a bar, because I know how mentally, how people are struggling. And I've got to take a punt of that by supporters who were with me, and are talk to me, and all of a sudden slagging us. I've got to accept that being a manager because of my players and I've signed every single one. So I've got to accept that. But what my dream is, my passion is, is to take this club. If somebody says to me, you take them out when you win, when you suck, I'll settle for that now. If somebody, I'm in very good touch with John. I love Rose, maybe the director has been brilliant because I know what we've been through for the last couple of years. But if somebody said to me, I'll tell you what, Dose, you went at Wembley, but you're not going to renew your contract. I would take that because it was a dream of mine to have a job. It was a dream of mine to leave my at Wembley. It was a dream of mine to get one of the Football League. So that's the one I want to try to do next. And if I, if I had had that three years ago, and also whacked the one how much I try to do for a community because I believe in the community feel about it, and I think everybody would accept it. And I thought, well, that would be a good appointment. So at least I'll walk away. If it's the end of the season or it's next year, whatever, I'll walk away and thinking, well, I've done all these things and plus I've went out there at the community and said, this is your club, come and join me. That's the hardest bit in the last year I couldn't do. And um, But I do agree with our supporters, we'll see. Like, for example, I look at it, Jarvis gets a ball, great ball in, didn't score. The crowd would have went, hey, come on, you haven't got that? And we can't be little little working without the crowd. And we can't help. So uh, all the things, but if, if people say, oh yeah, it's not good to watch and I'm sick of it or whatever, and all that, you know, but I can't do anything about it. All I can do is plan. I believe I'm a very blue to take win the Football League, eventually. I do think we've got a bit of catching up. Sutton's got to be our model to start with. And um, and I'll work to and through it. We have, we're looking yesterday, me, Ian and Kelvin, we've got about 30 targets, what we we'll do, plus some of the players there. It's up to the players there to prove that we want to be there. So it's not a threat about the furlough, because I'll put some of the young kids anyway and say, listen, Let's not waste a chance of lifetime. Let's not do it. And if you do, and you waste the whole, if we went to Hellefan, we would get beat 1 0, 25 yarder. I might have to say, can't do much about that. But if we do a went there with this mentality like you should in the last minute, you're an eight. If that's what you think they're going to be off me, because I've known them for a long time, then the best of heaven was split and doing that. And that's exactly what I do. Dream of Wembley, dream the passion, the what you drink, the town centre, what you drink, the club. What these lads, Casey, people, Cookie, um, Gavin, or Lemlock have been with me all this time from taking this little outfit where I had newer players. To promotion, to cup fight, to cups, to getting top of the league, to going through a pandemic, the ground where it was all about the ground development things, the budget cuts, to not having a budget till two days before the start of the season, all the things I think the director as a chairman knows. I just want to say, okay, we've got one dream. Let me lead the team out at Wembley. Um, let us win the cup. If we want to finish, us finish us. Me personally, I think my right man will get win the football league. That's what I think. Because I think if I do and do it, nobody will. Sure, sure. Okay, let's uh, finally go back to the start, if you like. Wind walking. <laughs> Had you ever heard of wind walking? He's doing it. No, Daniel's doing it. Young Dan's doing it. No, I, I'm crapping myself. No, to be honest, so I, I, I love the hospice and Phil and the jobs to do, and I, I, I love the people. And I get a buzz being working manager. I'm not going to deny. I like going to town centre and talk to people and whatever and bars. And I can mention all Blackie and everybody. I mentioned John and all. You know, um, I can mention all them. Like, and I love the feel of it. But I do know that these people suffer just like we're suffering. You know, I'm saying at the minute supporters are suffering. So we know as managers we're going to get it on the stick. But I want to do something and I want to help. And I want to leave this place eventually saying I've done 100 grand for the local community and all that, you know. But that's not me. I've got to win football matches. That's not there. If I wasn't doing anything and I was mid-table in a conference house still, I think it should suck, to be honest. But I want to... 
the ambition, I think John Gatz is the same, and Rosemary's certainly the same, where you get everybody on the same way, like, we're working, the whole town centre, it's, it's more than a football club, so I want to make a club more than a football club, and, um, and, and build it from there. So, um, I've got to say, Phil, say, oh yeah, well, the wing walk, oh, I see, I've, I've seen Freddie Flint not do that, and all that, and it looked quite good on telling, I saw Jimmy uh, not doing it, yeah, I'll do it, not a problem. So we've gone up there, done all, yeah, I'll sign on, and uh, there's people in the club, uh, Judy wants to do it, I think I've got... My captain wants to do it as well, and all that. So it's, I think I got Blackie's missus. It was agreed to do it, and uh, <laughs> and all that, you know, and stuff like that. Now I've got a couple I'll mention next week as well. We're gonna get a picture down here, hopefully next Friday when you're here, and all that, you know. And uh, so we're gonna get Telewin. I'll lead it. Sky Sports want to get involved, and which is lovely. But when I see what to do. <laughs> I am quite um, scared about it, like, you know what I mean? So I'm not, um, so I knew, I, I'm thinking, yeah, it goes up and it'll be higher on that tree and it'll just go and when you come back down and all that, you know, but it comes a little bit higher on the tree, to be fair. So, uh, all right, but, like, listen, I think we're going to put, uh, if we're trying to raise £5,000 for a hospice who I knew I've got to raise about £9 million a year to look after people, and I think it's important that we put ourselves as a football club to be part of that. Like, see, by the time I finish here, we're, like, we're challenged at the top of this league with full line football. With youngsters coming through, with kids coming through, with families coming through, with hospices we support, and with charities, many here we support. And I've always wanted when I leave my legacy here, if it's this season, next season, or season after, I want it to be being successful on the pitch, which we've half done up to now, to be honest, and we can still have this get a bad situation at a good time. And also uh, um, with people wanting to come to the football club because they think we're more in a football club. That's what I want. Right. Um, just to finish off, I don't think it's quite so much the problem of the plane going higher than the trees it's when it's coming down vertically at 150 miles an hour <laughs> <laughs> I know. you might need three sets of underwear obviously because i've been looking does it do the blinky loop the loop stuff and all that you yeah. know and stuff like that <laughs> but listen i'm black and white and things like what's going to happen i could go in there could crash i could end up brown bread life carry on whatever um, that's the way i look at everything and all that you know and um you know but i do know whatever happens to this and if, 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 if i do panic and I do whatever and I do whatever I'll do it whatever happens and I'm sure everybody else will as well but if it raises five grand from a place that's what I want to do it can we get more than five thousand pound they need to help if you can all you supporters out there if you've got any spare money uh, can you go on the link on the website and help out and um, it's for a lovely cause who do a lot of good work a lot of good work absolutely right thanks very much all the best at Hartlepool tomorrow magic journal